let's give him praise and glory this evening. Let's magnify him. Let's bless his holy name and praise him. Let's thank him because he's our God, he's our shield, he's our buckler, he's our defender, he's our help, he's our anchor, he's our all in all. Let's bless his holy name for preservation of life. Let's magnify him because he's our shield and buckler. Let's give him glory and honor. Let's give him adoration. Let's bless his holy name. Let's thank him. Let's praise him. Let's worship him. Let's adore him. Let's magnify him. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We worship you. We thank you. This year is remaining 30 days. Let's thank him just like yesterday. We began the year. Even in this virus, we never knew what will it will be. But beloved, he preserved our lives. He preserved our lives. It is time to worship him. It is time to thank him. It is time to praise his holy name. It is time to say, Father, we appreciate you. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou lifted high. Be thou magnified. We praise you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. Many waters have passed under the bridge. But you preserve their lives. We have been face to face, some of us sometimes, with death. But Lord, you preserve their lives. Sometimes it looks like as if we will not get over it. But somehow, just closing our eyes to open it, we found that uh, we were at the other side again. And Father, we thank you. We give you praise for healings. We thank you for deliverances. We thank you for Johnny Messies. We thank you for saving us from the scares of death. We bless your holy name. We magnify you. We praise your holy name. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Be thou exalted. Be thou lifted high. Be thou magnified. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We praise you. We exalt you. We magnify you. We reference you. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Thank you, Jesus. We have just come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. Out of the 365 days, we have spent 330 something days. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration just like that again even in this period of pandemic you have caused your work to come to pass in our lives you say with our eyes we see and behold you say no evil will come near our dwelling place we give you glory we give you honor we give you adoration we bless your holy name we magnify you we praise you we thank you we worship you. We exalt you. We magnify you. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Be thou worship. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can we say better? Amen. Amen. Tonight, I want us to take a song. Just take a, a song. We just appreciate this God. God. Beloved, if God opened your eyes to see the dangers that he has, he has saved you from in this year that is rolling by, you will be scared. You will be scared. But just take a song to just worship him. Just take a song and bless his holy name. Just take a song. The Bible says we should sing a new song unto him. Just take a song and worship him tonight and say, Father, we thank you. Jesus, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration, we magnify you, be thou exalted, be thou glorified, be thou lifted high, 
Father, we thank you this evening. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. Ancient of days, as old as you are, we thank you one more time tonight we give you praise and glory we give you adoration and worship we bless your holy name we magnify you we thank you we bless you we exalt you thank you for provisions thank you for sustenance thank you for defense you have been our rock. You have been our, our, our anchor. You have been our buckler. Ah, Father, we exalt you. Just like yesterday we began this year, not knowing what will become of us, but like the Bible says, our eyes were on you. And Lord, you preserved us. 330-something days have gone by. And you kept us. You kept us with your mercy. You kept us by your favor. You kept us, oh God. And we have come to say thank you. We have come to say thank you. We have come to exalt your holy name. We have come to magnify you. We give you glory and honor. We give you adoration. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. And we give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship him. God bless you, sirs and mass. Please take your seat. You're welcome tonight again. And beloved... What we're considering tonight is <laughs> you shall not go empty-handed. I will not go empty-handed. <laughs> I will not go empty-handed. I will not go empty-handed. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus, I will not go empty-handed. Empty-handed. This year, I won't go empty-handed. <laughs> Exodus chapter 3 and verse 20 and 21. Exodus chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. Twenty-one and twenty-two. I mean to say, twenty-one and twenty-two. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, <laughs> and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty-handed. I don't know which of us, the God that God is merciful unto. Why he prompted our heart to look at this for this month, command the month, so that this individual will not go empty handed. <laughs> and as the year is running to an end, in the next few days, the year will be rounding off. And the Bible says in verse 22 But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth. In a house, jewels of silver and, of, and jewels of gold and raiment. And ye shall put them on your sons and put them on your daughters. And ye shall spoil the Egyptians. A version, verse 22, a version says you shall ask. So I want to plead with you in the remaining days of this year. You must learn to ask. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 says, Ask, ask, and it shall be given. Ask, you must learn to ask. 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 And so the scripture says, God said to the people, He said, I'm going to give you favor, and I will give you favor inside of this people. Inside, inside, inside. Psalm 5 verse 12 says, The Lord will bless the righteous, and with favor will he encompass him as like a shield. By implication, favor is one of God's blessings. Favor is one of God's blessings. Because they will bless the righteous. And he said, What will he bless him with? That's Psalm 5 verse 12. He said, We bless him with favor. And he went further to say, Like a shield. Like something covering him. So favor is a defense. If you have not encountered ill all through the year is a function of the favor of God that has shielded your life from evil. The Bible says a thousand will fall at our right hand and ten thousand are left hand. It is just the favor of God. So favor is a shield. Favor can be seen. That's why the Bible says, I will give you favor in the sight. That as people look at you, they become favorable unto you. And I'd like you to pray while you're seated tonight. And say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, give me favor. That as from now, everyone who beholds me will see the favor of God in my life we look at me with favor 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 everyone who looks at me from now we look at me with favor in the name of the lord jesus i receive the garment of favor i receive the garment of favor I receive the garment of favor. 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 
In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive the garment of favor. I receive the garment of favor. I receive the clothing of favor in the name of the Lord Jesus. That even those I did not ask of will give to me in the name of the Lord Jesus. Favor, favor, favor all over my life, my home, my family. I receive your favor in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can you say better amen? amen? In Exodus chapter 11 verse 3. Exodus chapter 11 verse 3. And the Bible says, And the Lord gave the people favor. The word is saying in the sight again. In the sight. In the sight. It means favor is visible. Favor can be seen. A man can see you and can favor you just by seeing you. Favor is visible. Favor, favor, favor is visible. That is the blessing that will make one person, I don't know who, to go this year and not go empty-handed. To go this year and to go with loads of blessings. To go with tangible things is favor. Is favor. Look at what Luke chapter 1 verse 53 says. Luke chapter 1 verse 53. Look at what the Bible says. In Luke chapter 1 verse 53. Luke chapter 1 verse 53. The Bible says he had filled the hungry with good things. And the rich, he had sent away empty-handed. He had filled the hungry with good things. What is the meaning of that? He had filled the empty, the, the uh, hungry with good things. What is the meaning of that? To get this favor, which is a good thing, you must hungry for it. You must ask for it. You must clamor for it. What a wise man says, what you don't desire, you don't deserve. What you don't desire, you don't deserve. You must hunger. You must be hungry for it. You must be hungry for the favor of God. And that's why tonight I want us to pray again. That Exodus chapter 11 verse 3 says, And God gave him favor. And God gave him favor. Gave them favor. God gives favor. God gives favor. i like us to cry to him again tonight. And say, Father, in the name of Jesus... Give me favor in the eyes of everyone who will see me as from now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, give me favor. 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 In the name of Jesus, give me favor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So the blessings of God that we do, the, the miraculous is favor. That will cause you and I not to go empty-handed as this year is rolling by, is favor. Is favor. Is favor. Is favor. But I like us to pray. Listen to me, beloved. A man can walk. Have you not seen a man? <laughs> a man can walk whole years and is getting towards retirement and something happens. And something happens <coughs> and there's trouble. And he may be sent out of that job without getting what he's supposed to get. Without getting what he's supposed to get. What is the meaning of that? Such a man has lack favor. Because the favor of God would have intercepted. The favor of God would have shielded him from that trouble. And such a man can go without getting what is expected of him. 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 So favor, favor is what will do the magic. And I like us to pray. Let's ask the Lord that the favor of God will answer for us in this season. The favor of God will answer for us in this season. The favor of God, let your favor answer for me. 
in this season. Let your favor answer for me. 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 In the name of Jesus, let your favor answer for me. In the name of Jesus, let your favor answer for me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your favor answer. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can we say better amen? How do I secure favor? How do I secure favor? Because since we understand that it's favor that we do the, the miracle, it's favor that we do the miracle. How do I secure the favor? Number one, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 15. Proverbs 13, 15. Proverbs 13, 15. Proverbs 13, 15 says, good understanding. A version say, produces favor. Good understanding. That's why, beloved, it's not everything that is prayer. Prayer is good, but it must be prayed in understanding. 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 Good understanding produces favor. Good understanding produces favor. So it is time, beloved, to seek good understanding. Good understanding of what? Of the workings of God. Of God himself. Seek more of God's understanding in this season because that is what can give you favor. Good understanding. Good understanding. Good understanding. Number two, what can give you favor? In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Look at scripture. Look at scripture. He said, my son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandment. Verse 2. For length of days and long life and peace. And they shall add to thee. <laughs> he said, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. And bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the tablets of thine heart. Look at what verse 4 says. Look at what verse 4 says. It says, so shall thou find favor. So how do I find favor? Keep the word of God in your heart. Did you see? Let's start again from verse 1. Look at, so how do I find favor? According to Proverbs 3.1, how do I find it? I should not forget the law of God. I should keep the law of God in my heart. When I do that, I'm looking for favor. When I keep the law of God in my heart, I'm looking for favor. I'm looking for favor. Look at what verse 2 says. It says, well, when I do that, it will give me length of days. It will give me peace. It will give me, yes. Look at verse 3. He said, let not mercy and truth be truthful. When you're truthful and you're also showing mercy for the Bible, not only are you showing it, you bind them around your neck. You write them upon the tablets of your heart. You keep mercy and truth and the word of God in your heart. He says, so you will find favor. So when you are truthful, what you are looking for is favor. Word in his heart, you are indirectly asking for favor. You're asking for favor. You're asking for the favor of God. You're asking for the favor of God. And number three, like we read in Exodus 11, 3, God gives favor. So that's why to get favor, I must appeal God. I must seek him. Seek God. I must seek God. I must seek God. 
I must seek God. Number four, Exodus 33, 13. Favor comes by prayer. Moses said, show me if you are favorably disposed to me. Answer this request. So when you pray, you can get the favor of God. And that's why tonight we're going to also ask for the favor of God in the place of prayer. We're going to ask for the favor of God so that we don't go empty-handed. So that this year we still deliver to us that which it has in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, number five, how do I get favor? Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34 to 35. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34 to 35. Look at what the scripture says. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 34 to 35. Proverbs 8, 34 to 35. It says, Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my door. Verse 35. For whosoever findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor from the Lord. Who is talking? Jesus. God. Look for him. Because when you get him, you get favor. 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 And so tonight, you know, that's why we can't concentrate on only one way to get it, which is praying. Pray is just one of the ways out of this. There are so many ways. He said, my presence, his presence gives favor. His presence. He said, my presence will go with you. And I will show you mercy. I give you favor. I give you favor. So it's important for us to understand what to do to get what we want. What is it that we want? The, equ the answer to the equation is that we should not go empty handed. And what we grant us that answer is favor. The blessings, one of the blessings of God. According to Psalm 5 verse 12, one of the blessings of God. One of the blessings of God. So it's expedient for us, beloved, to keep the word of God in our hearts. To make sure day in, day out, we keep, you know, meditating on his word. We are gulping in his word. Because as you are doing that, you, are, you will procure favor. You will get favor. You get favor. You get favor. That's what that Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1 to 4 says. He says, so shall thou find favor. <laughs> so shall thou find favor. That is the way to get favor. Keep the word of God in your heart. Let mercy and truth guide you. He says, so shall you find favor. So shall you find favor. And like we said in Proverbs 7, 15, that good understanding. Seek God. Seek to understand God. Ask him questions. Like I said to us in that Exodus chapter 3, verse 21, 22 rather, he said, ask, ask them. Ask them. Ask them. Ask them, ask them, ask their neighbor. You must also learn to ask God this season. Ask him, ask him, ask him. Are there prayers you've been praying before? Pray it again. <laughs> the Bible says, ask until your joy is full. Ask until your joy is full. If your joy is not yet full, should you keep quiet? No, no. I'd like us to pray. If you want to cry to the Lord tonight, just take a position of prayer. What I'm interested in is that you're praying. You want to cry to the Lord tonight and say, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I will not go empty handed this year. This month, I will not go empty handed. 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 I shall not go empty handed in the name of the Lord Jesus. I shall not go empty handed in the name of the Lord Jesus. I shall not go empty handed by the power of the Lord and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I shall not go empty handed in the name of the Lord Jesus. I shall not go empty handed. I shall not go empty handed. This year will not pass me by. Until I get that which God has in stock for me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus I will not go empty handed. 
In the name of Jesus, I will not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus, I will not go empty handed. By the power of the Lord and the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. I will not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus, this year, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can you say better amen? amen. Revelation 22 verse 2. Revelation 22 verse 2. Revelation 22 verse 2. One of the blessings that we have as children of God is that understanding. You know that scripture says, good understanding produces favor. Good understanding. And that's part of why we're looking at this scripture. He said, in the midst of the street of it, on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bear twelve manners of fruits, and yield our fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healings of the nation. They yield their fruit every month. Every month. By implication, there's something in every month for you. You want to cry to the Lord. Lord, that which you have for me this month, I shall not miss it. I receive them in the name of Jesus. The increase, the enlargement, the prosperity, the answers to prayer, the favor, the gold, the silver. I receive them. The ones you have for me this month, I receive them. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive them. I receive them. I receive them. I receive them. All that you have for me this month. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive them. In the name of Jesus, I receive them. In the name of Jesus, I receive them. That which you have for me in the month of December 2021. As a chairman, as your servant, I receive them. In the name of Jesus, 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 I receive them by the power of your mind. Jesus, that which you have for me in the month of December, I receive them. It shall not elude me. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus, it shall not elude me. It shall not elude me. It shall not elude me by the power of your mind and the anointing of your spirit. It shall not elude me in the name of Jesus. It shall not elude me in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can we say better amen? Psalm 68 verse 19. Psalm 68 verse 19. He said, blessed be the Lord who daily loaded us. So not only does the month has something for us, something for us, even daily, there is a daily provision. There is a daily provision. We want to cry unto the Lord. Today is just the first. Part of the daily provision, beloved, is safety. <laughs> Part of the daily provision is favor. Part of the daily provision is enlargement. Part of the daily, 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 want to cry to the Lord, Lord, I receive as from tomorrow morning, even today, 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 every daily benefit that I desire that belongs to me, I receive my portion, 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 I receive my portion. 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 Every daily provision that you have for me, I receive my portion. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive my portion. By the power of the Lord and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I receive my portion. 
In the name of Jesus, I receive my portion. In the name of Jesus, I receive my portion. I receive my every daily provision that you have for me. I receive my portion. In the name of Jesus, I receive my portion. By the power of your mind and the anointing of your spirit, I sh none shall elude me. None shall elude me. None shall elude me. None shall elude me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, none shall elude me. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to pray because our God is the God of restoration. If there be any blessings we have lost between January and November, in any of the days, I want to ask the Lord, Lord, restore. You say, I will restore the years that the canker worms and the locusts have eaten and the palmer worms. And my army, which I send among you. That's when I knew that God has an army. And they are called locusts. <laughs> they are called canker worms. They are called palmer worms. Want to ask the Lord, Lord, restore every blessings that I have lost in the name of the Lord Jesus. Is he healing? That's what men don't understand. They call it opportunity. That's what men call opportunity. It is the Lord's blessing allocated for a particular season, a day or a month. We want to cry to the Lord. I receive restoration, restoration, restoration of all the blessings that have eluded me. I receive restoration. I receive restoration. I receive restoration. I receive restoration. I receive restoration by the power of the law and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I receive restoration. 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 Restoration. I receive restoration. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I receive restoration by the power of the law and the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I receive restoration in the name of Jesus. I receive restoration, 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 restoration. Manto praliagadoba sotokoria. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Please say a better amen. amen. Please, I'd like you to pray this prayer like never before. <laughs> I want to pray. Every, every power that what they walk is empty. They make sure a man goes empty. Every agent of emptiness <laughs> concerning my career, concerning my job, concerning my education, concerning my marriage, concerning my health, concerning my finances, some will walk and walk and walk in a place. I'm done. <laughs> and it's gone off. And where he had labored, he misses that. <laughs> Want to decree and declare. Every agent of emptiness, in the name of the Lord Jesus, enough of your oppression over my life. You will not have power over me any longer. Every agent of emptiness concerning my job, my career, my vocation, my family, my finances, my health, in the name of the Lord Jesus, waste them. Manto pro liga dubra liga raba zanta. Waste them. Kapoli gaturia laba sanda. Eka raba shanda kaira. I prodiga tu pra liga raba. Lebruske liga tangeri brosuta. Every agent of emptiness concerning my career, concerning my vocation. Concerning my ministry, concerning my education, in the name of Jesus, enough of your oppression. In the name of Jesus, not again. Lose your hold. Lose your grief. 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 Lose your hold. Eparu katoli basaina. Nekaraba zante kerebos lose your God that causes a man to amount to nothing. I command you lose your grief in the name of Jesus. Not again. In the name of Jesus, not again. 
in the name of Jesus, not again. In the name of Jesus, not again. In the name of Jesus, not again. In the name of Jesus, not again. In the name of Jesus, not again. The power of the law, not again. Ekute liba, rabakuri bashanda, ekladi braye, repuske ne mozunta, eplalima santa. Mighty name, we have prayed. I four sixteen. What is seventeen with it? He said, Behold, I have created a smith that blew the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument of work. I have created the wasters, waster to destroy. It means there are power that waste things. They waste it. You know the meaning of waste? They waste, they waste one's labor. And that is equivalent to <laughs> emptiness. <laughs> when the labor is wasted, the man goes empty. He doesn't get the reward he's supposed to get. <clears throat> and in verse 17, the operation of wasters are weapons fashioned against you and me. And that's, this is the scripture. This is the scripture. And I like us to cry to the Lord this first day of this 12th month. That in the name of the Lord Jesus, every weapon of the wasters over my life, my home, my career, my finances, my health, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you are wasted. Every weapon of the wasters. Every weapon of the wasters, every weapon of the wasters over my career, the benefit is the operation of the wasters, is the weapons of the wasters. I like you to cry to the Lord, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, waste them, waste the powers of the wasters, waste the powers of the wasters, waste the powers of the wasters, waste the powers of the wasters. All of us, Dante Kerry Brosuta. Nakura ba sikateria le bruske li garaba shanda e pokuri ba zinte karuba zeri katalia gadubra enda na makuri ba zanta e prali garuba zente le gadubra in the name of the Lord Jesus re makuri ba zante keri bra santa in the name of the Lord Jesus ne mul sutoria in the name of the Lord Jesus re bakuri ba zante keri bro shinda in Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Can you say better amen? amen? I'd like us to pray. Let's pray from Genesis chapter 15. Genesis chapter 15. Verse 10 and 11. Verse 10 and 11. Genesis 15. Verse 10 and 11. Let me read quickly because of our time. He said, then brought all this to him and cut them in pieces down the middle and placed each piece opposite the other. But he did not cut the bird in two. Look at verse 11. And when the fowls came down upon the carcass, Abraham drove them away. What is the meaning of that? If you read the whole of that chapter, that was sacrifice of Abraham. Abraham wanted to make a sacrifice to God. And verse 11 again. He said, and when the vultures, a version say, and when the vultures came down on the carcasses, what are the carcasses? The things he has caught that he wanted to sacrifice to the Lord. What did Bible say Abraham say, did? He drove them away. Want to cry to the Lord. Every bird that is, you know, that is devouring my sacrifices. My sacrifices. Lord, let your fire consume them tonight. Let your fire consume them tonight. Let your every board, every evil board that is devouring my sacrifices. The Bible did not say Abraham was looking at the board. The Bible says Abraham sent the board away. Want to cry to the Lord tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your fire consume this evil board in the name that he wants to feast or that is feasting on my sacrifices. E musu topukalia. Eshke to pralia in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lari ba kuri ba shanderia, enko toria ba zintekeria, eskapali garuba shanda, ne kupali garuba zetekeria. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every ball that is fitting on my labor, on my sacrifices. In the name of Jesus, 
Arise, O God, and consume them. You vultures of evil, arise, O God, and consume them. Lord of all, every ball that is feasting on my labor, arise, O God, and consume them. 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 As from today, every of my labor will bring forth commensurate effort. In the name of Jesus, in the Plekaruma Psychataria, every of my labor will bring forth commensurate effort. Every of my labor will bring forth commensurate effort. Every of my labor will bring forth commensurate effort. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every of my labor will bring forth commensurate effort. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every of my labor will bring for commensurate effort. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we bring for commensurate effort. We bring for commensurate effort. In the name of the Lord Jesus, no more wasting. No more wasting. No more wasting. The paths of the wasters are ended. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I shall not go empty handed. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we have prayed of hmm. you see a lazy person is as bad as someone who destroys things that's new living translation the old king james says he that is a great waster i want to ask you what is the office for diligence it means in the work, do the work as if though you are the owner of the work. That's what the scripture says. Do the work as if though you are the owner of the work. Do the work as if though you are the owner of the work. Do the work because if you are an indolent, if you are lazy, you are inviting the powers of the wasters. That's what the Bible says. Great waster. I want to ask the Lord tonight. I receive grace to be hardworking. I receive grace to be hardworking. I receive grace never to be lazy in my place of work again. I receive grace. Help me as from today to be a hard worker. To be a hard worker. To be a hard worker so that I don't waste my labor. Help me to be a hard worker. Give me the grace to be a hard worker. Give me the grace to be a hard worker. Give me the grace to be a hard worker. Give me the grace to be diligent. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We worship you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can we say a better amen? amen? I want to wrap up tonight. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24, 26. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24, 26. Not praying again, <coughs> oh Jesus. Numbers chapter 6, verse 24, 26. If you don't mind, can we please rise? As you go this month, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Lord will bless you. Amen. The Lord will keep you. Amen. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will sustain you. Amen. The Lord will guard you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The Lord will cause his face to shine upon you. Amen. And be gracious unto you. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord will favor you. Amen. And give you all round peace. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. This month shall be an exceptional one. In the name of the Lord Jesus. All you have drawn, you have desired, you have clamored, you have labored for from January to November that you did not get. This month, because you will not go empty handed, you will reap the reward of all your prayers and your labors. In the name of the Lord Jesus. 
You shall not go empty-handed. The favor of God will intercept. The favor of God will fight for you. The favor of God will defend you. The favor of God will surround you. You will not go empty-handed. This month you will not go empty-handed. This month you will not go empty-handed. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the God of restoration will restore all that the enemy has eaten between January and November 31st and 38. The God of restoration will restore everything to you this month in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your barn shall be full. Your barn shall burst for increase and expansion in the name of the Lord Jesus. You will not borrow again in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, your health will not fail you again. And I decree this month, your health will not fail you. It will not fail you again in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and glory. Lord, we receive this bread and this wine as a token of your to radiate your favor. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. You just take the bread and take the wine. As you have the bread, you can eat it. Just to read in the name of the Lord, so we take the wine together. The song that is coming to my spirit. I will never let you go. Except you bless me. I will never let you go. Except you bless me. I will not go empty under this month. In this month, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, no one will go empty under. You can take the bread. Father, we receive once again this wine. We watch you if you do it. Every time we do it, if you do it in remembrance of us, we receive it in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We decree that favor will be our portion all through this month. So much more that will not go empty empty. So much more that the powers of the wasters would have been terminated. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So much more that every vulture of evil of darkness will be destroyed. And our sacrifices will bring forth fruits in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, because this is the season of favor. Thank you, Lord, because no more emptiness. No more emptiness. My labors shall not be wasted again. Sacrifices shall yield results. Favor will locate me. In the name of Jesus, as from now, favor will locate me. In the name of Jesus, favor, favor, all around. Everywhere I turn to favor, this year, remaining days of this year, it will be exceptional for me. It will be outstanding for me. 
it will be exceptional for every single hearer. It will be exceptional. Please mark my word. I don't know who exactly. The Lord said to me, the remaining days of this year will be exceptional for you. To be exceptional. To be exceptional. To be exceptional. You wish that they be exceptional because of the favor of God that will encapsulate you. Father, we thank you. And we give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We declare the month of December open in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All we have requested to come, they will come. All we have sent away, we go away in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every daily blessings and benefit that we desire that, be, that is expected to be quitted to us, we receive them. The ones that have, is monthly, we receive them. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Can we share the grace together in fellowship? Grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the fullness forever and ever. Amen. I shall not go empty-handed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We have an offering you can give it after the service. God bless you.